As you developed collaborative projects for your students, what challenges were revealed and what rewards did you encounter? It seems like any time you ask a group of students, you say, okay, we're going to break into groups. Immediately, half of them might go, you know, you get these looks like, oh no. So it's not all the time, but, but there's a sense that group work has mixed results. In a, every student knows that they've been in situations where it hasn't worked or been in a certain class where they've had to do group collaborative work and it hasn't worked or it's been frustrating or they've done all the work other students have done none of it but gotten credit for it or or vice versa maybe the student on the fringes so some of the challenge is right away is is a resistance that you'll get to any kind of group work because based on past experiences other students have had very positive experiences too so I mean there's, there can be excitement but then it, there's a sense of I mean, I think one of the big challenges, especially in a big project, is how do you decide who's going to work with whom? Uh, lots of rewards. Lots and lots of rewards. And it seems to get better all the time. One of the rewards is um, seeing students excited about collaborative work. I mean, it's like, what, we get into getting groups? And you can kind of, and so, so like I may be sitting over here and the group's over there, and you can hear almost from the tone of their voice that there's this kind of uh, excited uh, creativity going on because they're brainstorming and someone's thrown out someone goes, oh, that'd be a great idea, or this, oh, that'd be great, you know. So that, that way in which we've all had that experience certain times where we're just throwing in, where we're trying to come up with ideas. It, it's not the time yet when we have to do it. You know, and that, that becomes more intimidating sometimes, but it's the time which ideas are forming. So, so that that's happening in a collaborative way. I, I think that's one of the things that's best about working with other people. They give you ideas, you give them ideas, and you kind of work off that and build towards something collectively. So that's what was exciting. It, um, one of the other rewards is, was, I think, just students learning to learn from each other learn from each other in, in that group, but also uh, making meaning themselves. That is, not having me tell them what this story means or should mean, but in fact creating that meaning, reflecting for themselves about what it's meant to each of them in, as individuals, sharing that with each other in a group, and then trying to translate that into some artistic medium. Is, is I mean, it's, it's, that's what creative work is about, a lot of it. And then that's what makes it exciting, is that we don't know exactly where it's going, but we're following some impulse, something that's powerful in us, and we want to express it. And, uh, and you don't always know how it's going to turn out. So it, it, it encourages students to take risks and to work together in that way. Some of the other rewards were just the performances themselves. And um, it's hard to know how to describe them. But when you, they've been working so hard, and a number of them, you know, for the, the several days before the performances, they'll be, be um, scheduling time in the auditorium, they'll be up late at night. I mean, they, they spend tremendous amounts of time trying to make something be as good as it can be. And you realize, how many, how many assignments do you give to students where they want to just pour as much as they can into it to make it as good as it can be? There's not a lot where you have a, your whole, you know, most of your class doing that. Uh, there's always students who will in, in any individual assignment, but this was this was a kind of, and I think it happens because they care about it. And I don't, you know, and so that's a trick to how do how do we as teachers help students care about what it is they're doing? Or sometimes we can't. Sometimes everything we do is not, we can't make them care. So how how do we design things that actually connect? to students in ways that, in fact, they do and they, in fact, want to learn from it. And I think this is a project where that happens over and over, and I saw it many, many times.